this man, Robin London of Sweden, comes with a huge reputation. The youngster has been slaying monsters throughout Scandinavia, and he's brought that form to Great Britain. is everything it says on the book. This guy has got the moves of a genius. He can flow from position to position with unconsummate ease. Will it be enough to take out the Swede? Hi, I'm Paul Waters from Great Britain, training with the Preston Panthers. Uh, I've come down to London to Armour's power play to pull Robin Lundgren from Sweden. Paul Waters is a very strong arm wrestler. He's uh, both strong in uh, hook and top, uh, straight across and everything. We pull uh, as much the same and uh, it's hard to figure out uh, the style when we are as slack as we are. Coming up to the like three months prior to the competition, my hand and wrist was lacking a bit due to a competition before, so I thought I had to train my hand and wrist, my fingers a lot more, and my rotation. Also, I've been working on my stamina. I train uh, both hook and the top a lot, but I feel most uh, confident in uh, inside hook. I'm sure Robin Lundgren does feel confident in the hook. This young man has been using it as a deadly weapon. On his recent visits to the table, he's uh, no stranger to the arm wall super series, as indeed is Paul Waters. Waters, a lethal opponent for anyone, such is his technical oh. range and prowess. But he's been sucked straight into the hook, he looked like he hit for the top roll. He was caught out of position, he's seriously bone lined. Now Paul needs to dig in and needs to collect himself and see if he can move back to a dominant position. At the moment, he's still out of position. The elbow is in a bad place, and it's a huge hit from Robin Lundgren. The Swede comes in with his own tri-press, then reverses with a drag, and it's all about Robin Lundgren at this stage. The hand of the young Brit exposed. Lundgren with a massive drag, and that's the pin. Robin Lundgren from Sweden with the win in early. match one, I tried to set my top row, which is what I like to do. and. Uh... He was off the mark a lot faster than what I was and because I was set for my top roll, going into the hook is it's a bad position for me from setting the top, so I was unable to get it, so I held on for as long as I could. Tried pulling out of it, but just wasn't going. I like the hook. It's my... I feel strong in hook, but also on top, but I feel more safe in inside, pulling uh, towards the pad. Not to say you've got to look at that and wonder whether uh, yeah, hanging on to the match was a, a wise move in Paul Waters because he did hang on for a long, long time and from day one he was in a bad position. Looked like he went for the top roll, couldn't get it, was nailed into the hook. Robin Lundgren's favoured position and the Swede was always in control at that point. Paul Waters. Wrist what wrist. have you got in store? Needs to try Go. and get some trickery. Oh, he goes for a top roll. Totally mistimed it. Totally mistimed it. You can see on the replay, opened his own hand. Technical mistake from a man who makes very, very, very little mistakes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Forced enthusiasm, Joe Poole style. Richard Poole's daughter, Joanne Poole, working in the corner of smooth Paul Waters and has a knockout record of 10 and 0. Oh. Nailed Waters with the slap. The sneaky tango slap. Even told him to close his eyes before she slapped him, and he did. Schoolboy era, Waters, his second one of the day. The first one was a moment ago when he tried to hit the top roll. And Paul Waters has the slap from Joe Poole done him any good. Go! Whoa, it certainly made him aggressive. There's a much better hit, and Paul Waters is back in the match. 
But look at the power from Robin Lundgren. We are exactly where the Swede wants to be. He said he needed it inside. Huge try press from Paul Waters. But I would have expected to see Paul try to work with the top row techniques. There's the counter from the Swede. Robin Lundgren is now in a fantastic position. Paul deep, deep inside, but he's dug under. And it's a win for Sweden. Robin Lundgren is running away with this. Chris Ham advising Paul Waters, hit with more top and more side. He needs it now. Paul tried to hit me on top row, but my wrist was too strong for him in the first beginning of the matches. And um, I felt very strong inside, and he couldn't get out of there. Shoulder. Shoulder. Robin Lundgren looking so powerful in, in the hook. Come to this way. Now and Paul Waters setting up exactly as instructed by Chris Ham. The elbow has moved to the back of the pad. He's carved across. Are we going to see the back pressure? Shoulder. Three zero down. Shoulder, Robin. The man who's known for having the technical range needs to pull something out of the bag now. Oh, he was caught in a hook again. Paul reverted, but that is not good. He needs to get far more rotation, much more back pressure, much more side pressure. Bust open the wrist of the Swedish athlete if he's to get any change from this match. And he was ineffective in doing so on that start. Paul Waters. Time to prove it. Time to back it up. The hype built behind this young man coming into the match was that he was the favourite because he has the stamina, he has the more complete bag of tricks and now he's almost nailed the top row. Massive hit from Robin Lundgren. Dives inside but Waters is done for the top row reversal and that's better from the Englishman. Now he drives across, drives down, winner, Paul Waters on the march. Well, at 3-0 down I thought I had to get something out of it, you know. So I uh, repositioned my elbow at the opposite side of the pad, pulled it back a little bit there and counted out my wrist a little more and hit straight back and straight over. It was a picture perfect top row reversal from Paul Waters. Absolutely fantastic stuff from the young Englishman and he couldn't have timed it better because talk about walk the tight rope. He's 3-1 down now. He was 3-0 down going into that match. The nerves must have been jangling. But Paul Walter showing that experience as a professional that the Super Series has given him. And he gives himself a lifeline. Uh, when I, um, the fourth match came, I felt a, li a little bit too confident and uh, underestimated him a little bit. Paul Waters sets up again, pulls him back, the back pressure on him, there's a massive hit, oh what a reversal, Waters with the top roll, he beats the hand of the Swede and then drives forward, magnificent arm wrestling from Paul Waters, what a tremendous pin from the young man from Preston Panthers that was, you will not see a better reversing move than that and hence the name Smooth Waters, a fluid transition, nails it, Waters is back in the match, fantastic yeah. score, and a huge hit from Robin Lundgren, there's yeah. the reversal yeah. from Waters, he's gained the hand and wrist control, we slip, and the strap will be applied, Paul Waters so close to level in the match, Robin Lundgren so close to ending the match, balanced on a knife edge, the strap will change things enormously, Paul Waters again with the back pressure, yes he's got the wrist, oh, it's an elbow foul, Talk about intense. What a battle. Elbow foul, Lundgren. That will slow the man from Sweden down. Paul Waters. The window of opportunity is wide open. He just needs to climb through. Waters with the back pressure. The height on the hand. There's the top roll. There's the attack. There it is again. Winner, Waters. 3-3. Three, three. What a tremendous battle. Look on the replay. The back pressure. Huge venomous attack from Paul Waters. He powers down for the win in the strap. Yes, I found it really hard to deal with his grip, but found a way in and found a way around his hand.